17 here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook at the three-point line. Got it! Wow, what a big shot by a big-time player. Three, he's short. Westbrook with the rebound, and here we go. Russell driving, Russell scoring! Thunder on the high side! Russell Rushbrook is in one of them things tonight. He was in one of them things. I got that from Isaiah Thomas. Um, he got a little bit of help tonight from McDermott, who had 16 points on four or six from downtown to go along with five rebounds. And as Cantor had 15 points and nine rebounds. Um, but he didn't get much help for anybody else. Uh, once again, Victor Oladipo did not play due to back spasms. Uh, he didn't get much help offensively for anyone else. Uh, but it didn't matter. Uh, Russell Rushbrook had his second consecutive 40-point triple-double, the eighth of his career. He had his uh, fourth consecutive triple-double overall. And tonight, in the 109-106 victory, which the Thunder had to rally uh, much of the efforts of Rushbrook to get the victory, uh, Rushbrook had 43 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and he shot 6 of 9 from 3-point range. Uh, Russell Rustbrook, right now, <clears throat> he's shooting about 34% from downtown. This is the best he shot from downtown so far in his career. He's never been a great 3-point shooter, but this year he's been a little bit better. Um, if he can ever consistently get his outside shot down, whew, this guy will go over oh, oh, as well as he's playing right now, he'd be on a whole nother level. Uh, but tonight, the Thunder improved to 35 and 25. So they're 10 games above 500. They're, they're on pace to win about 48 games this year. Um, I'm hoping they can get that, uh, they can reach 50 wins. Um, they look a lot better since they made those moves. Um, but let me focus on Russell right now. Um, he uh, went to triple double tonight, of course, was the 30th of the season. And that was the 67th of his career. Um, he's now just the third man ever to reach, officially now, the third man to reach 30 triple doubles in the season. But you guys know how I feel about that. Um, Behind only Oscar Robinson, 1961-62 season with 41, and Wilt Chamberlain with 31 in the 1967-68 season. He, uh, barring injury, he's going to surpass Wilt ex very soon. Um, I think he has his eyes set on Oscar's record. Uh, last game, I said he needed uh, 13 triple doubles in the final 23 games to surpass Oscar. Now he needs 12 in the final 22, or about one every two games, which is about the pace he's going this season anyway. Because through 60 games, he has 30 triple-doubles. So he needs to pretty much just be on the pace that he's doing now, and he will surpass Oscar's record. Uh, but I think that might be what he's uh, looking for. I know, of course, he's playing for championship. He plays for that. But I do think that he, wanna, he wants to surpass Oscar's record. And... Um, if he averaged a triple-double this season, this will be one of the great feats in NBA history. And I think that that merits at least a co-MVP share of that award. If they're going to give it to James Harden, if, Har if uh, Westbrook's able to do that, then he needs to be he – they need to break the president of just giving that award to one person and they need to share it with James Harden and, and Russell Westbrook. Because if he doesn't get uh, – if he achieves this and he doesn't get that award, then there's something blatantly wrong, man. Just terribly. Because this team was expected to be in the dumps. The dumps. They were expected to win maybe 30 games. Russell expected to average maybe something like 28, 6, and 9. You know, nobody was expecting this guy to lead the NBA scoring, let alone having 30 triple doubles through 60 games. You know, and Joe Bud can hit all he wants to. Russell Westbrook right now is the man, and he knows it. He knows it.